I've got another DVD haul today. Um, this is the batch we are going to go through. Again, they're all from CEX. I think the entire order came to less than £15. Pound. Um, please forgive the poor lighting because it's quite late at night. Okay, so the first few I'll do together. We have the first five series of Peep Show. Um, don't worry, that was just me closing the cases. And I know I was going to say I was going to buy the new box set from series one to nine, but I realised I don't keep cases anyway. I put all of the discs inside a big folder, big leather folder that I think holds like 500 discs or something. Uh, the first two were definitely 50 pence each. Thereafter, I can't remember, I think we're talking 75 pence or something. And I'm a diehard Peep Show fan. So if you haven't seen Peep Show, please do watch it. Okay, everything else, um, some are bought because of the actors in them. Some are bought because I've heard good things about them. Passion of the Christ, I know is a favorite of a few people. Uh, I think it's going to be a very emotional watch. Um, but it's one that I kind of, I've been looking forward to for a long time, but never really got around to watching. Then we have <laughs> Emma Thompson. A lot of you will know if you've seen my videos regularly. I'm madly in love with Emma Thompson. This is Primary Colours uh, with John Travolta as well. Uh, I've heard good things about this, but I don't really know what it's about. So I'm very much looking forward to that one. And then we have Julia Roberts and Hugh Grant, Notting Hill, which is one that every time somebody mentions it, I'm like, why haven't I seen that? So I'm going to change that. And I think this is one that I'm going to like a lot. Um, so that's great. This one, um, if I say M one more time, please somebody tell me to stop it. This is the two discs. Uh, this, <laughs> I'm just replacing M with a. Uh. Playing God, which I got because Angelina Jolie's in it. I'm so psyched. And underneath we have Shades with Mickey Rourke, which I've not heard of. And I think I think it was 50 pence, 75 pence, and two DVDs for that price is really good going. This one is, uh, we've got such a wonderful cast. We have the third Hannibal, we have Red Dragon. I loved Hannibal and I loved the previous Silence of the Lambs. And I'm desperate to watch this one. Uh, this is actually the two disc and I think the two disc DVD for what again not at the most one of these cost a pound. I can't remember which ones. So at the most two uh, a pound for two discs is very good. Can you tell it's late at night? My head is all over the place. Ah okay. The exorcism. I am so so excited. Everyone's like Amy have you seen the exorcism? Have you seen the exorcism? Because I'm a big horror fan. And I haven't. And I can't wait. I might actually watch this one tonight. It's, oh, looking forward to it. I hope I'm not disappointed. I really hope I'm not. This one I got because, well, Robin Williams is in it. And that's the reason I got it. And then I discovered Freddie Highmore is in it. And I love Freddie Highmore. Especially when he was younger. He's so cute. August Rush. Uh, I know a lot of people do like this one. And I've heard really good things about it. Uh, yeah. That'll be good, hopefully. And... This one is another Robin Williams, Robin Williams film. I hadn't heard of this one. I, cause I go through his IMDb and I'm getting, I'm basically buying all the ones that I haven't seen so I can indulge in Robin Williams. And I hadn't heard of this one. So if anybody's seen it, let me know what you think. But please, no spoilers, because I might not have watched it by the time you get around to commenting. This one, I bought, why did I buy this one? This, there would have been a reason for this one and I'm sure somebody will know. But this is Original Sin, and I will say it sounds very, very good. There might be some DNA too I was interested in, I can't remember, there's no names on the back that stand out. Yes, Stephen Fry, Stephen Fry, Stephen Fry, Stephen Fry, bright young things. The cast in this, do we have a full cast I can tell you about? Uh, Emily Mortimer, Stephen Campbell Moore, De Dan Aykroyd? I, my apologies if I pronounce that wrong. Jim Broadbent, uh, James McAvoy, Michael Sheen, David Tennant, oh, uh, Peter O'Toole. It's a film by Stephen Fry. I mean, that just sounds, oh, it sounds absolutely breathtaking, doesn't it? So that's going to be one of my kind of, I think it looks like a good film for when I'm in the mood to relax rather than being on the edge of my seat. Friday the 13th. I finally got around to buying it and doesn't that cover just looks absolutely thrilling. Uh, th this one. I was so surprised when I found this on the website. Um, it's a big dose of Bill Murray. 
Now, first of all, before I show you it, <laughs> you can tell it's not a newly released DVD. It's in like cardboard and cardboard and more cardboard. This, I think, costs 75 pence, maybe a pound. Ghostbusters, Groundhog Day, and then Stripes, which I hadn't really heard of, um, but I've never seen Ghostbusters. Don't tell anybody that. Um, nor have I seen Ground Groundhog Day, and I really wanted to see both. And they were both on my, the top of my list to buy. I've got three films for a pound or less. I'm not complaining. Uh, three more. Angelina Jolie in Salt. Again, dirt cheap. I was really surprised that this was that cheap because it's not been out that long. So I'm not, I'm not sure what that says about the quality, but we'll see. Um, but obviously I'm a big Angelina Jolie fan. Uh, second last, we have three classical Bella Lugosi films. How amazing. Uh, the Invisible Ghost, Scared to Death and White Zombie. I know nothing about them, but if you are a fellow Bella Lugosi fan, obviously you have to see them. And lastly, Nightmare on Elm Street 3. If anybody asks, I've seen the remake, I've seen the original and I've seen the second one. And the second one was alright, I enjoyed it but it wasn't amazing. But it wasn't, um, it wasn't not that good enough to put me off the third one. And I, oh, I just love Freddy Krueger as a character. So exciting. Uh, I apologise for the amount of times I've said um in this video. Would you like a pit um? I'm so excited for the new Alice in Wonderland. Oh god. Uh, yeah. Any thoughts on any of these DVDs, let me know. Please recommend any films. Also, aren't we all excited for the second Beetlejuice? Can't wait. Uh, it's a very good year for Tim Burton and Bonham Carter fans. Yes, let me know your thoughts on any of these. Any suggestions for films, please do let me know and I will speak to you all soon. Bye.